Having a custom domain really gives your site credibility instead of having the myshopify.com in the URL. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set that up easily in under five minutes for your Shopify store. Having a custom domain makes it really easy to share about your products online. Plus it helps influence your branding because you can actually put your brand name in your URL. So I wanna show you really quickly how to set up a custom domain for your Shopify store. You have two different options. You can either buy a domain through Shopify or if you've already purchased a domain with another provider like GoDaddy or Bluehost, you can connect that domain in. So you're going to get to this area in the Shopify backend by going to your online store and then into domains. So now we can see the options to either buy a new domain. So you can buy this through Shopify and just click in here to actually go through the process of purchasing this through Shopify, or you can do connect existing domain. We have just our default myshopify.com domain now. So let's go ahead and do connect existing domain. So now we're going to type in our domain that we want to connect to this Shopify store. So now that we've got our domain in, it's showing that it knows our host is Bluehost, which is correct. Uh, you may also have your provider name show up here, or it may not know exactly who your provider is, but it'll show specific instructions there. So you also may get the option if you have a platform like GoDaddy, where you can connect automatically by just logging into your GoDaddy account. So if that's the case and you see connect automatically, you can just go ahead and click that there, log into your GoDaddy account, and it's a little bit faster to set that up. However, we don't have those options with our domain provider, which is Bluehost. So we have to add in the information manually. So we can just click on this view Bluehost instructions to get the exact things that we need to add in. So if we scroll down this page here, we can then see the different things that we need to add in. So now in this connect your domain manually section, you can see the different information that we need to add in. So first we need to add in this A record. So I am just going to copy this number right here. And then I'm gonna to go to my Bluehost account and go into the DNS settings. So now I'm in my DNS manager of my Bluehost account and you can see this A host and this at symbol host record. So this is what we wanna edit for this first field. So you can see here it's a different number. So I'm just going to click on this to edit and I'm going to paste in what I've copied there and hit save. Okay, so now that's updated. However, it does show that it can take up to four hours to actually fully transfer over. The next thing that we need to do is we need to edit our C name record. So that way, if someone was to type in the www version, that it'll pull into the Shopify store as well. So let's go back to the Shopify documentation. And you can see here, we need to have this to go to shops.myshopify.com. So I'm just going to copy that and go back to Bluehost. And again, I'm just gonna click on this next to the www, click edit. I'm going to paste it into this points to field and hit save. Now our information is added in both for the A record and for the C name record. So we should be good to go. So if we go back to our Shopify store, you can now hit verify connection. Now it does take some time, again, my hosting provider said it could take up to four hours. So it may not actually verify the connection right away, but let's go ahead and just click on this and see. So you can see here that we have this where it's not showing up just yet, but it says again that it may take a few minutes for them to update their settings. So you can always just sit here on this page, come back to it a little bit later and hit this verify again, and then it should show up correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click this add domain button. And this way it'll add it into our Shopify store and we can just get notified whenever that actually pulls in. So you can see here it says not connected, but we can retry that connection and it'll automatically update once it is ready.
So I gave it about 30 minutes and then you can see it pulled in and it is now showing as connected with my SSL certificate pending. So now what we could do is we could actually change this to be our primary domain. So to do that, we'll just click on change primary domain and we can choose the domain from here. So I always like to go with the non WW version just because it's a little bit cleaner and it's faster to type in, but we can hit save from here. And we can see now this is set up as our primary domain. So we can now see that this is our primary domain and all of our traffic is going to be redirected here. You could add in multiple different domains if you had that were all going to connect to the same Shopify store and then just choose which primary domain you want to be the main one to redirect all the traffic to. So that way if you had multiple, let's say, misspellings of your domain purchased, you could add all of those in and then just have them all redirect to this primary domain that you have. So I hope you found this Shopify quick tips video very helpful. We've got an entire playlist of more five minute tutorial videos just like this all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. So make sure to check out that playlist. And if you haven't yet, also subscribe. We post new videos every week all about Shopify.